everyone. The topic of my video today is how the Government of Canada advances religion. So, Centre for Inquiry, or CFI Canada, has recently published a report on this topic, and I would like to give you a brief summary today. It's the first in a series of reports that the CFI plans to do on the topic of the cost of religion in Canada. So, if that's something that you think that you would like to support, then you can make a donation to the CFI. And you can also make a donation to Atheist Republic because they are publishing my videos for me. Um, so in Canada, we have something called the Income Tax Act, which is the act that um, establishes the requirements for charitable status in Canada. One thing I was surprised about when I was part of a group that was applying for charitable status in Canada was that one of four ways that a group can get charitable status is if they are advancing religion. So I just thought that was crazy when I found that out. Um, so advancing religion means promote spiritual teachings, maintain doctrines and spiritual observances, and worship of a deity or deities. So when I read that, I was wondering if Scientology has charitable status in Canada, and fortunately it does not. Um, but I believe it does in Australia and the United States. Activities in the advancement of religion category are establishing and maintaining buildings. Now, this is, I can say a lot about this. This is a topic for another video entirely. There are way too many religious buildings, in my opinion. Uh, providing religious instruction, which, in my opinion, means brainwashing. And pastoral or missionary work, which could mean a variety of things, but I think it also could mean tricking people into joining your religion, and the government will help you do that. CFI reviewed the data for all Canadian religious charities in 2017. They made some assumptions in doing their calculations, but it looks like Canadians donated about $7 billion to religious charities. So how it works is that people donate money and then the government gives them a tax break on that money. So they end up paying less tax than they normally would. CFI used two different scenarios to calculate a low and high estimate of the income tax relief and they came up with a value of between 1.6 and $3 billion. So that's money that the government could collect and spend on other things. So I look at that and I think, well, $3 billion, our government, you know, spends a lot of money on stupid stuff anyway, so does it really, really matter? Um, but I think in this case, the most important thing is maintaining the separation of church and state, which isn't really happening with this act. So the act needs to be changed not to include religious advancement as a charitable purpose. Um, I think it's important to remember that changing the act would not stop people from giving money to churches. It would just mean that they don't get a tax break for giving money to churches. In my opinion, that would be a win-win situation for everyone. So I used to attend a church briefly that asked for a 10% tithe on gross income, which is income before taxes, which I didn't do. But religious people really think of tithing as giving to God. So changing the act would just give them more opportunity to, to give to God and more opportunity to, to suffer and sacrifice and get out of purgatory faster. So it would just be really great for everybody. It would be good for the salvation of Christians and it would be good for the secular population of Canada who should not be advancing religion. Um, I see in the CFI newsletter that there was a court challenge by something called the Church of Atheism, which was denied. And it's really unfortunate that atheist groups have to pretend to be churches in order to get charitable status. Um, I think the only other way to challenge this or to change the act is to uh, introduce a private member's bill. So I could ask my member of parliament to do that. I doubt that he would. Um, but if you live in Canada and you think that your member of parliament is atheist friendly and would introduce a private member's bill, let me know and we could maybe ask that person to do that. I would imagine 
probably in Quebec we would have more luck since Quebec is more secular than other provinces. So that's all I want to say about that topic today. Thank you for watching everybody and have a great day. Bye. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.